Hey there, this is Andrew from Clickfunnel Support Team. In this video, you are going to learn how to pass contact information from the pages where people opt in in Clickfunnels to MailChimp via web forms. I would like to note that this is an advanced method of passing contact information to MailChimp, and if you don't feel confident enough, you will have to use the API method. If you feel confident enough, you can follow this simple tutorial. So let's say I want to pass contact information from this page to MailChimp. In order to do that, I will obviously be, uh, need to be integrated with MailChimp first and will also need to build an opt-in page in ClickFunnels. So let's say I want to pass email input form in the first name and last name fields and also I will add some input forms like uh, address. I will change the placeholder text. And I will also add a custom type input form. So let's set it to custom type. For example, it will be website and placeholder text will be favorite website. So we have configured the opt-in page in ClickFunnels and we want to gather this information. After that, we will have to go to MailChimp go to the list tab and create a list for it. Let's go ahead and select the name for it. For example, click funnels web form test from email will be my test email from name will be my actual name. The reason will be click funnels and we will go ahead and create this list. After that, just as with API, we will have to set the list fields and merge tags for this particular list. And this list's uh, merge fields and tags will have to match the ones that we have on the opt-in page. So this means email, first name, last name, address, and custom type. And we will go ahead and add the fields we are lacking. By default, this will have this fields, email address, first name, and last name, which we already have. And we will as a result, we need to add the address form and the custom type into form field. So let's go ahead and we will select the text field for them. You can change the field label and type here. So let's say I want to be address. You don't have to change anything in this column. This should be ticked as not required and they should be selected as visible. You don't have to change the tag in your content if you use the web form method. After that, we will go ahead and one more field type because we also have a custom type input form. So let's say we will call it favorite website. So we have the same input forms that we have on my opt-in page in ClickFunnels, which are email field, uh, first name and last name fields, address and custom type input forms. And we have the same ones in our form in MailChimp. So let's go ahead and save the changes and where we have to go after that will be the sign up forms. We will select embedded forms and in here we will select naked. We will tick off this options and in here you can protect your phone by enabling capture or disabling it. I will disable it in my case but you can always enable it. After that, we will uh, we will have to copy and paste this code to our opt-in page. So let's go ahead, select the settings, integrations, and we will need the HTML form here. After that, we will select integrate existing form action and paste the web form code here. But after that, we will have to tweak it a little bit. So first of all, we will have to find the part where this input form name exists and we can delete that. So we will delete the whole piece depending, the, starting with diff style and ending with the diff and the merge tag. So we will delete that because we don't need that. And also in the beginning of the form you will find such text as class validate target blank no validate. You will also need to delete that like that. After you do that Click Parse and Save Web Form and scroll down a little bit and you will find all the fields that you have in MailChimp with their merge tags on the left column and the fields that you have to match them with on your opt-in page and click funnel. So we will match them. The email field with email field, obviously first name with first name, last name with last name, merge tag 
3 will be addressed because we created it this way and Merge Deck 4 will be our favorite website. After that we will go ahead and save the page. So let's go ahead and preview this page. I already have opted in on this page so this is why it is going to be populated already. I will go ahead and submit all this information by clicking the Submit the Form button and I will be taken to the page here and it says that I need to confirm my email address so what uh, you have to do is to check your email address and check the inbox I will go ahead and do that and confirm my email address from the MailChimp email this is how the subscription confirm page looks like after you confirm the subscription to this list from the email that you received from MailChimp and after that we will go ahead to our MailChimp account go to the lists and we will see that we have one new subscriber we will go ahead and to check if the information made it to the list and you can see that all the information I entered went to my MailChimp list without any issue. And this is basically how you make contact information passed in MailChimp via web form. If you have any questions related to this subject, please let us know by leaving a support ticket and we will be more than happy to help you. Thank you.